Hello students, my name is Alok Semwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about structure activity relationship of angiotensin antagonists. These are also known as AT1 antagonists or angiotensin receptor blockers. Most of the angiotensin receptor blockers contain three functional groups that are the most important parts for the bioactivity of angiotensin receptor blockers. These groups are the first one imidazole ring the second group is biphenyl methyl group and third one is the tetrazole group now we will discuss importance of these pharmacophores one by one if the first one is the imidazole ring that binds to amino acids in helix 7 here you can see the imidazole ring and it binds to aspartame 295 The second group is biphenyl methyl group and it binds to amino acids in both helix 6 and 7. This one is biphenyl methyl group and it binds to phenylalanine 301, phenylalanine 300, tryptophan 253 and histidine 256. The third one is the tetrazole group and it interacts with amino acids in helix 4 and 5. This one is tetrazole moiety and it binds to arsenine 167 and lysine 199. This tetrazole group has been successfully replaced by a carboxylic acid group as in the case with telmisertin. So following points suggest that these three important pharmacophores are essential for the receptor binding of angiotensin receptor blockers. However, tetrazole ring system can be replaced with acidic moiety such as carboxylic acid. Almost all of the angiotensin receptor blockers have the same pharmacophores. So the difference in their biochemical and physiological effects arises because of different substrate attached to the basic skeleton. Lipophilic substrate like the linear alkyl group at the second position of the imidazole ring together with the biphenyl methyl group combinedly binds with hydrophobic pockets of the receptor. Hydrophobic pocket is a binding site that contains mostly hydrophobic amino acids. An acidic group like tetrazole, CO2H or NHSO2CF3 at the first position of the biphenyl methyl group are intended to bind to a basic portion in the receptor. And these groups are responsible for potent antagonist activity of compounds. In an another drug candidate, well certain the imidazole ring of losartan have been replaced with an acylated amino acid. This suggests that the imidazole ring of the non-peptide compound might be a substitute. Several substrate have been tried at the fourth and fifth position on the imidazole ring. The chloro and hydroxymethyl groups connected to these positions in losartan are probably not of much importance in receptor binding. Reason for this is that the other angiotensin receptor blockers do not contain these functional groups and have comparable or better affinities than losartan. One another drug candidate, irbisartan, has a carbonyl group at fifth position functioning as a hydrogen bond acceptor in place of hydroxymethyl group of losartan. This modification results in a longer, hence effective binding to receptor. One another drug candidate, Iprosartan, differs most from the other angiotensin receptor blockers. In this, the usual biphenyl methyl group has been replaced by a carboxybenzyl group that mimics more closely the phenolic moiety of tyrosine 4 group of angiotensin second. Result of this change is a stronger binding of iprosartan to the receptors 
but the biochemical and physiological effects are not significantly improved. Talmisartan has an carboxylic acid at the second position of the biphenyl methyl group and this compound is more potent than the most of the tetrazole analogs. In few studies, it has been reported that imidazoles that have hydroxymethyl and carboxy groups at 4th and 5th position possessed potent antagonist activity because of hydrogen bonding and hydrophilicity of the hydroxymethyl group. It has been also reported that hydroxy group in 4th position of the imidazole ring plays an important role in the binding affinity and also compensates for the disadvantages of lipophilicity due to bulky alkyl groups. Thank you.